Hi everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Our Own Forest China. So, let's continue where we left off. We are doing quite well. We're starting to break through. So, I think the worst part is over. But we'll see if we can push Japan back. I think it's time to add artillery to our division template. At least support artillery. We have over 1000 artillery right now, so yep. Let's do it. It will take time to reinforce, but that's fine. We're not losing anymore, so we can afford to wait a bit. Now, I still want to capture Tianjin, but it's rough. We might have to just encircle it. We'll see. I could probably bring a few extra divisions. We got six over here, which is probably not necessary. Let's grab at least one of these guys. And they are regulars. So I kind of want to use them. Alright, let's grab two. And we'll upgrade them to our main template. Like so. And we can send them to the front line. Four divisions should be enough to defend this area. Or seven total because we also got these guys. And there are no naval invasions going on at the moment. So, yeah, we should be more than fine. I probably got too many troops over here. But they can stay there for now. Alright, we are finally making some progress in Tianjin. Come on, retake the city already. It's been long enough. So, these guys should just join this front line. Yep, we can assign them like so. Looks good. Yeah, I think we are finally starting to break Japan. It will take time, because they got a lot of territory over here, and then I'll have to actually invade Japan and take Tokyo, as well as other victory points. And that will take time, but that's okay. The important part is that we're actually making progress. And how is our research going? Concentrated industry, improved artillery, and yeah, I started construction too. We are about to finish our fourth research slot. So that's nice. And I think I'll start working on a fighter. Because I really don't want to waste production on interwar fighters, they are crap. We can get a proper one. Come on people, take the engine already. How hard can it possibly be? Okay, let's push back a little bit over here. How's combat with? Yep, seems fine. One more division. And... Yeah, whatever. I don't care about that. There's the extra research slot. What can we do next? Let's have a look. Probably army effort. Yeah, army effort for sure. So, get started on that. And attack with more divisions. If possible. Yep, let's pressure them a little bit more than this. That shouldn't be hard. Yeah, Beijing will be fine. We can move one guy. Can we move one guy? Alright, looking good. Are we going to take Tianjin or not? 85. Come on. Only a few more days. It's almost ours. There we go, finally. Alright. And there is a fort here, the one I built. Not to mention the naval base. I kind of wanted that back. Where is their closest naval base? Yeah, all the way over here. So they won't be able to move in with any more troops. At least not close to the front line. That's nice. Now let's check the front line. Yeah, we are making progress pretty much everywhere. We're about to take a province. Nice. Now we can attack from the east. And plug the holes. Okay, looking good. And push north from Beijing a little bit. Like so. Alright, one more guy. Oh, that guy is part of the reserve army, right. So, remove him. Upgrade to a proper template. Yeah, this one. And add him to the front line. Looks good. How's our artillery status? Yeah, we got almost 1000 out of 1.03k. 
Nice. This will definitely help, because that increased our soft attack significantly. Artillery 1 got buffed in the recent patch. It's much, much better now. It actually has defense. Yeah, Germany declared war on Austria, wait. That's a little bit odd. Okay. That wouldn't happen without historical AI focuses turned off. Alright, well, that's what I'm talking about. The game is definitely re less predictable if we turn off historical AI focus. Alright, anyway, research. Let's go for that fighter, I suppose. Like so. And back to our own war. How's our planning bonus? It should still be decent, yep. We'll build up a new one once we're done with this. And, ooh. No, these guys are not cut off. I thought they are cut off for a moment. But we can push them a bit. We might be able to encircle them, that would be great. Why is that 14? Oh, that's all the divisions in the area, right, okay. This is a little bit too many. But we are about to take a victory point. That's only three victory points, but whatever. It's always something. 96, 94... Yeah, it looks like they are just completely falling apart now. And how's our construction? I'm still building one more coastal fort and then military factories. Yep, we'll focus on military factories once that's done. Because I need more, I need a lot more. Let's just queue up a bunch everywhere there. That will take a while to complete, which is fine. Come on, people. I think we could switch to balanced. Because right now we're doing this carefully. I don't think that's necessary anymore. Yep, let's switch to balanced. That should be fine now. That's a lot of divisions in one province. I don't think we can kill them easily. Take that victory point already, go. We don't have as many divisions as I thought we do. Or the front line is getting longer. How about you attack? Nope, I guess not. And we got concentrated industry too, nice. So, what's next? I don't think I want advanced machine tools just yet, it's not 1939. We should get improved infantry equipment one. Just to progress towards weapons too. And then we can use our infantry bonus. From the focus tree, to get weapons too. Modify government, what can we get? I don't think I need that captain on v of industry. He might be useful in the future for refineries and infrastructure, but I don't plan building those anytime soon. I'll probably build some refineries eventually, but I don't even have the tech right now. It's not a priority. Army logistics... What about industrial research time? Yeah, let's go for that, actually. Sounds good to me. That's always useful. Alright, people. Yeah, this number is a little bit misleading over here. It looks like all these divisions are in that province, but they are clearly not. Eighty-eight, seventy-seven. We still got the planning bonus. Where are these guys? Why are they not doing anything? Okay, they are chilling. Can you help with that guy? That would be great. And yep. Austria was annexed. Still a little bit strange that they chose to actually declare war, but hey, whatever flows their boat. Oh, there's a naval invasion going on. Okay, let's pause this for a moment. And move a few dudes around to help. This should be enough, probably. One more. 
I can't let any naval invasion succeed for obvious reasons. Especially when they are trying to take a naval base. Alright, nice. Come on, people, push. 99. And another province is ours. This is looking really good for us. Just need to keep an eye on that naval invasion. Don't let that succeed. Come on, people, let's send one more division. They are attacking with six. Alright. Do we have our second coastal fort here? Yes, we do. Okay, it's turning green. And one more division is still moving in. Yep, it's fine. Now send them back to previous ports. I'm trying to keep at least two divisions in every single naval base. Alright, back to the front line. We are almost done with our battle plan. Which means we should make some new ones. Alright, let's pause this for a moment. And we'll make some new battle plans. How's this front line right now? This is where it ends. Okay. So, let's see. We can go like this. No, I don't want a front line. I want an offensive line. What? Oh yeah, I can't drag it into Japan, which is a bit unfortunate. Wait, this is our territory. Right, because they capitulated. But we didn't get everything? I'm confused now. Alright. Well, I guess this is going to be the battle plan. These provinces. Offensive line. I'll probably have to retake this, because Japan is about to grab all of that. Eh, whatever. So that's one battle plan. And we need a new one down here. Let's make it a little bit longer, shall we? Nothing crazy. But this should be good enough. Maybe a bit more aggressive. There. That will shorten the front line eventually. Well, a little bit. That is a lot of provinces, which is fine. We'll wait for full planning bonus. And military factories. Yeah, we need more infantry equipment. But also more artillery still. I need to add a lot more artillery. Alright, I don't think I want to wait for the other planning bonus though. Let's just execute this battle plan immediately. Oh, we already connected our territory. Right, let's execute this. I think we can do it aggressively. Just to kill all of these guys, as soon as possible, preferably. Japan will probably still take over all of these, but... Oh well. This is a lot of divisions. Okay, more military factories. Just assign them all to infantry equipment. How much basic equipment do we still have? 11,000. Yeah, way more than that. Like 20,000. Okay, yeah, we need a lot more. Still. Alright. And that's a lot of dead Japanese divisions. Let's check casualties. I'm actually quite curious. We lost 163k, and they lost 189k. Alright, it's a little bit closer than I thought it would be. But they are about to lose a lot more. Right here. So we can check that number in just a moment. 221k. Yeah. They might go up to 300. Or at least 250. 99. Come on. Kill them already. 233k. There we go. 343k. Yep, that's much better. That's 2 to 1 ratio. I like that. And now we need a new battle plan again. So, let's have a look. Yeah, I think I need to redo 
the front line, <laughs> obviously. So we'll delete this, which leaves that army with nothing to do. Okay, front line. That's going to be the front line. A little bit short, considering there are 36 divisions in this army. We need to take this one, promise. That will shorten the front line significantly. So hopefully we'll do that. And offensive line. We can do something like this. Hold on. Here's our first offensive line. This will be okay. We can drag the arrow around a bit. Yeah. We can push from the north. Southeast. Now, still need to take this promise. 90. Yeah, we'll take it quite easily. Army effort is done. Let's execute that battle plan already. And now we can grab... What can we grab? Equipment effort. Then we can use that to get weapons too. That's pretty much the plan. We'll also finish improved artillery too in 28 days. Nice. Balance should be fine. I don't think I want to go aggressive. It's not necessary. And there's the province. That shortens the front line significantly. We're crushing the Japanese now. It's just a matter of time now. No naval invasions going on. Can't blame them. We got two light cruisers. I think another one is almost done. Production. Well, kind of. Over 100 infantry equipment per day. Good, good. We still need a lot. And how's our recruitment? We will finish one division in August. And then I queued up five more in three runs. So that's 15 new divisions. I don't think we need to wait here. Just execute that. Looking good. What's our war participation? 81%. And Communist China got 19%. Yeah, that's not too bad. And I don't think Communist China will get much more at this point. They are not fighting anymore. And more naval invasions. Ooh. That's actually a bigger one here. Okay. Let's move in with some help. Six divisions should be enough. And we got three more. Alright, where do you think you're going? Yep, it's already turning green. We probably don't even need reinforcements over there. But might need them here. One more guy. I can't really bring this one because that will leave the naval base undefended. We can strategically redeploy one of these. Just in case it's going to be necessary. It shouldn't be. This should turn green once we arrive with two more. Yep, okay, we'll be fine. So much for that naval invasion. Hey, Japan. Having problems? Also, we got almost 300 army experience. That's going to be useful. I will eventually merge all these infantry templates with my main template, but not yet. How much artillery do we have in stockpile? 747. Okay, and we just finished artillery too. So, time to switch the production line. There we go. And maybe add more production here. 
6.53 per day. Yep, looks good. And we need to pick our research. Improved artillery upgrade 1? No, that's a 1940 tech. A little bit too early for that. We could just go for support weapons too, or we could get mechanical computing. I guess it's about time to get that. I don't like waiting 230 days to get that, but we need to research that one way or the other. Might as well just do it now. Okay, we need a little bit of extra artillery, then we can add another artillery battalion. I'll probably wait until we have 1000 or so. We are making good progress without that, so it's fine. How's our fighting strength? 80%, 80%. Yeah, it's 80, 90% right now. And... How many reinforcements do we need? We got all the artillery we need. We just need more infantry equipment right now. Around 600 more, which shouldn't take too long. So I think the hardest part against Japan is pretty much done. They can't threaten us anymore. At least I really don't think so. They will obviously defend themselves, so I don't think conquering them will be that fast, especially since they got a lot of territory. But the hard part is definitely done now. Now, how's that one division we were recruiting? It's almost done. I could deploy it immediately, but let's just finish it. There's no huge rush. If I was desperate for more divisions, then maybe it would make sense to deploy it immediately. And how are the field marshals doing? Let's see. Oh, rank 5. Nice. And rank 4. So they got some nice experience out of this. That's good. Okay then, carry on. I could swap the entrenchment guy for offensive doctrine, but now he's rank 5. I don't think I want to miss out on the attack and defense bonus. Yeah, no, we'll keep the rank 5 guy, it's fine. Research, 22 days to finish construction, 60 days to finish the fighter. And how's the construction queue? Looking good. Oh, we almost finished all the military factories I already queued up. Alright, let's queue up some more then, everywhere. So one thing we could do is change our conscription law and then maybe even go for total mobilization. That would speed up military factories even more. Not sure if it's really worth it. But it's a possibility. I don't think I'll do it, but I'm just saying it's a possibility. Since we'll have so much manpower. It's usually a bad idea because of the recruitable population penalty. But it's not like we have to worry about our manpower. We have 6 million manpower and that's with volunteer only. Which is just 1.5%. So yeah. Manpower is not going to be a problem for China. <laughs> Out of all the things that are challenging us China, manpower is certainly not one of them. Okay, slower progress now, unfortunately. You know, we should switch all these divisions to our main template sometime soon. But let's maybe wait with that a bit. How much stuff would we need? Oh, not that much. Only four units. Yeah, this one, two, three, four. No, there are more than four. But okay, let's switch them, I suppose. There was definitely more than four. I might have to do it manually for some of these guys. Oh, these are expeditionary forces, right, I remember. These are from communist China. That makes sense. How about you push a little bit more? They should be fine. They just aren't winning an offensive battle, but they are not losing. 
Let's focus on our southern front. We still got the planning bonus, right? Yes, we do. There's equipment effort and the Munich agreement. Okay, then. So, what's next? Equipment effort 2. Doctrine effort. We could go for 75% bonus for motorized. Possibly. Oh, we're about to finish construction. Okay, hold on, I need to look at the tree. We could do motorized very quickly with that 75% bonus. Yeah, okay, let's go for that. Now, we could still change our conscription law. I don't think it's needed. We can grab a research bonus instead. Small arms research bonus, yeah. That will help. And there's construction. So now, we need to wait to finish improved infantry equipment 1. It's almost 1939. We could get started on advanced machine tools. I suppose we can do that, yeah. And in 22 days, we'll start weapons too. Expeditionary forces. I could accept that now, because they aren't actually fighting anything. Alright, let's just accept that and we'll add them to our battle plan in the north, like so. Sounds good. At least they will make themselves useful-ish. How's our artillery stockpile? 825, alright. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. We need more support equipment, because I can still add the engineer company, but we need more support equipment for that. Six factories. Okay, and how's that fighter? 35 days. Carry on. Come on, people. Beat the crap out of the Japanese. <laughs> hey, they started. Don't look at me. They declared war on us. It's their own damn fault. Anyway, I think this is a good moment to make a cut. I'm going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.